So hey guys, um, I'm finally back and I'm actually coming out with three drawings but there's only one drawing in this video and the two others will come out in like four or five days and why I decided to do it like that was because this drawing by itself was uh, very detailed and it took a long time to make and especially like just the sketching process in itself took a very long time uh, and also for the people that doesn't really like the sketching part and just want to skip to the inking part uh, it starts around three minutes a place so you can just skip to that if you just want to see that but personally for me I feel like kind of like uh, you know filming everything is kind of important to me because I feel like uh, the whole process of making the drawing is kind of you know important to me to get with me so for me personally I just like to have everything there um, and I filmed mostly everything of the sketching except for a part of her hair uh, that you'll see in a little bit but it was just very very detailed and it took a long time especially her eyes I struggled with for a bit and her hair because there's just so much detail to go on um, so it took quite a time but it was really really you know satisfying when I was done with it um, this is actually one of the pieces that I'm really happy with I can still see some mistakes that I wish I could change but I mean I always see mistakes in the drawings I make like always <laughs> like they're never like good enough in my eyes but like I try to be better at it at least and um, I mean as you probably already have gotten with you uh, she I'm drawing Toga Himiko from Book no Hero Academy and the two other characters that I'll be posting is Eddie and Deku uh, and I really wanted to do her first because she's a really lovely character in my opinion and I think she's really really cool and uh, I do maybe like a bit too much drawings of her because a lot of them I don't film as well but I film some of them and also I decided to do all of them in black and white and just you know like use like grays to you know add color and stuff because I thought it was would be like um, a bit of a, like a cute series of drawings, you know, kind of drawn in the same style and stuff. So. So I don't know how many of you guys uh, really like the drawings that I do in black and white. But personally for me I like to change it up a little bit because I do drawings uh, on white paper in color and I do them in black and white and then I also do drawings with pencils on um, tone tan paper uh, and lately I've started doing a lot of digital art um, basically I've started making a lot of OCs and stuff which has been really fun so I don't know if I will make a separate channel for that or not in the future but for now it's just like an idea that I've been thinking about but I don't know for sure yet um, and personally for me I enjoy drawing traditionally more than digitally um, <laughs> even though uh, drawing traditionally is more work and very stressful especially the inking part which I sometimes don't film on certain drawings um, especially if they're in color because it just stresses me so much to not just like do the inking itself but also like having something like filming you know all the time so uh, but especially on, with the black and white drawings I feel like it's necessary to have that part with but I try my best but that is definitely that one part that makes me the most nervous is the inking one because I'm so afraid to uh, you know make a lot of mistakes especially on drawings that I use a lot of time you know sketching up like this one because there's just so much detail and I don't want to like redo everything so I'm 
I'm always very happy when I'm like done with the inking part of the drawing. It's just like no matter how many times I do a drawing, like I never get like properly used to it. So it's like always just as scary. I don't know if some of you have like the same fear as I do, but personally for me that is like one of the parts that stresses me out the most. I feel like there is nothing I concentrate more on in life than just getting those lines like perfectly. So I also have been gone for a while. Um, I'll try to be a bit better at posting, but I don't know for sure since I have a lot of school stuff on the side, which I need to focus a lot on, but I'll try to post a bit more regularly. Um, at least get something out every month um, and not <laughs> like completely disappear because uh, I have a bit of a habit of doing that <laughs> unfortunately but I'll try to be a bit more active uh, on my channel and hopefully you guys enjoy that um, I don't know I, j I just make drawings and I put them out and uh, just hope for the best I guess um, but I'm really happy to the people that enjoy my drawings and do enjoy what I do. It does make me really happy that some of you guys really like them and stuff. Um, so thank you for that. And to everyone that leave comments and stuff. Um, and if you have any wishes of uh, that you want me to draw any specific type of character and stuff, you can just leave it down below. And I'll try to do some requests if anyone wants that. So on this part I start to add the grey and I thought it really helped out the drawing um, and I thought it looked pretty nice. Um, again, as I said before, when I look at it, there's still like a few things that really bothers me that I'm like, ah, wish I could change certain things. But again, I'm never happy, like I'm never like properly happy with any of the pieces I make, but I try to do my best on them. But I hope that you guys really did uh, enjoy this video. Um, and I'll try to get the two other ones out in a few days. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a good day.